Top speaker today. My name is Jeff Neighbor. I've uh, been working with Adrian and uh, Brent a little bit and some of the other people to try to pull together what is mobility at Michigan Tech. So you've seen some outputs here. There's an output from Brent here. Um, what we're trying to do is collect the information. So if you have any areas you think we missed, you're doing something, please get with Brent or Adrian or I. We want to make sure we capture this. So. Um, I think uh, Jeremy did an excellent job of kind of uh, reviewing this. I guess we should say that mobility is more than just transportation, right? Um, uh, if I can get this to play or not. So this is the Ford Super Bowl ad. Ford's very apparent that they don't want to just be a vehicle company I anymore. something besides an engine in the vehicle, right? If you know me, I almost, almost only do engine research. So I, I've done work with Ford for 30 years, right? And uh, a lot with the research group. And two years ago, they said, uh-oh, Ford's just got this idea of mobility. They're sucking all the money out of powertrain. They're going to put it over in California. So it's, it's real business, right? They're moving real money into these areas. And it's just not about transportation. They want to understand home mobility, so think about, I think, think outside the box, not just the vehicle, not just autonomy, not just connected vehicles. They're trying to understand what mobility is and what the opportunities are. And I think we've highlighted this, right? Uh, there's lots and lots and lots of op economic opportunity, right? Uh, $300 billion just in lost productivity uh, in the U.S. alone, right? Um, with that, I'm going to just give a couple highlights of a program that we're working on. I wish I had known everybody that was working in mobility when we, when we submitted this proposal, but we submitted a proposal to RPE Next Car, Connected and Autonomous Vehicle Program. Fortunately, we have a pretty good partnership with GM. We've hired a couple people recently from GM that are very connected to, to that group, and we were able to develop a, a program where we're going to do vehicle platooning and eco-driving. Um, and so we're picking up four of the vehicles today from GM and two of the vehicles from Ford for another program today. And we're going to pick up four more vehicles from GM in a couple weeks. And so we will have resources to do this. And there's resources at many of the other institutes and centers. But I think we just need to understand what your needs are and how we can support you in these resources. Um, Particularly, we're going to pick up eight, uh, we'll have eight GM volts. They have level two autonomous vehicle functionality. Uh, more interesting to me is they have five modes of operation, conventional engines, HEV, PHEV, extended range EV, and full EV. And so all of that is packaged in this miracle box, right, that allows you to run the different devices uh, and different modes. So there's a whole group of people we put together. Uh, again, I think uh, this, these were the, it's a core group, but I think there's many opportunities for other things. So it's in controls, modeling, uh, uh, and, and integrating traffic and other things. And I'm just going to point out one or two of those. So Kuna Zhang is, uh, is our partner in the civil engineering. He's going to be providing real-time traffic models. We'll be using the Google's, Google's API for real-time traffic information and using this for eco-routing and, and platooning. So you see eight volts driving down the road this summer, this wave to us. Uh, <laughs> if you want to drive one, we need drivers, so um, stop by and ask. 
And then the other thing is we'll be traveling around the country um, in the mobile lab. We'll be in Washington, D.C. and California. And we really want to highlight in this not just this work, but all of Michigan Tech's mobility. So again, get your information to us so we can highlight mobility activities because we will be, um, we'll be out there trying to highlight the activities. So again, here's some of the areas that we talked about. Um, again, I think what we're looking for is your contribution here. Um, provide us your information. We're looking for other avenues. To, this year we talked about going to the car show or going to the SAE Congress. So there's many opportunities I think we're looking at on how to get the word out. We just need the words, the appropriate words to put out. There are a couple other programs that hopefully, uh, well, you will hopefully shortly be aware of. There's a cybersecurity effort in, between ECECS and the School of Technology. And then also there's an automotive assistance control put together graduate certificate being proposed by the ME and ECE departments. And then I think Brent had a chance to talk to Brent here. Uh, he, he did a very good overview. So Brent's a very good contact for for you, either for industry or other federal agencies. With that, thank you. I hope you get a chance to enjoy the rest of the burgers and cocktails, and please take this time to meet with other people.